This week we will be looking at the creative practice of sequencing sound using our digital audio workstation. This will allow you to order your musical events over time whilst layering and blending them together to realise your creative project. The key concepts we will explore are time, sequencing, tracks and channels, volume, panning and effects. Okay, the first thing I need to do is create, set up and save a project file. So I'll go File, New. It brings up the familiar project window. Note, we've used this window before, but before we used it simply to edit, process, manipulate and export audio. We never actually saved a project. This time we're going to save a project file, which contains all the various settings and media that we need to use. I'll go File, Save Project As, give it a name, and click Save. The next thing I need to do is ensure Audacity has the correct settings that I wish to use for sequencing. To do this, I go to Audacity, Preferences, Quality, and make sure it's 48,024 bit. It's a bit higher than probably what we need, but it'll ensure the quality is good. The other thing I need to do is ensure the tracks are set up to edit in a particular way. One of the things that's useful is ensuring when you're sequencing that the various events or clips don't move about when we edit, add and modify. So I'm going to uncheck this option here. Editing a clip can move other clips. Click OK and we're done. 